Springfield is a small town with a lot to offer. Beautiful lakes, a cozy little downtown, and home to Kent's Hill Prep School. While Reedfield has seen its share of changes over the years, tradition still means something around here, which is why the Union Meeting House continues to have a special place in the hearts of so many. There is still an ambiance, both in the town and in a building like this, which tells us where did this town come from. Its history dates back to 1828, originally built to serve the various religious denominations. Not all faiths or churches could afford to build a building. They were busy trying to stay alive at that period. So they decided on a union meeting house, in which they could share the pews, maybe share ministers. It's just the second oldest brick church in Maine. Its federal style brick exterior is unique, while its interior is comprised of black walnut and butternut pews, a curved frontal choir loft, and its original lectern. However, what separates this interior from others is its artwork. These columns, arches, and wall plaques are really murals painted on the flat plaster walls. Portland artist Charles Schumacher gave the meeting house a feel of those great European cathedrals with a style called Trump Royal, which is French for fool the eye. One summer, a lady came up from Philadelphia, and she came to church and sat in the back pews. And she says, oh, minister or reverend, that was such a wonderful sermon. I'm going to be coming here all summer. I want to give you $100 to put on that shelf. And she said, Mrs. Smith or Jones, you better go up and measure the shelf to make sure your vase would fit. Of course, she came up and she noticed they were fake. Yeah. Even the sounding wires, which kept the minister's voice from getting lost in the back of the building, remain intact. Weekly services were phased out by the 1950s, but it continued to serve other purposes from graduation to dance recitals. The building is on the National Register of Historic Places and is still used today. This organ, for example, has been fully restored for concerts. A small board now oversees the building where they're hoping to replace the floor and have some work done on the exterior as well. The challenge will be preserving the building's uniqueness, which attracts visitors from all over the world. I flew in from Oslo, Norway, and I landed in Boston. Can I come up in two days to see your meeting house? And I said, yes. So I met him here. We showed him around. I said, where are you going from now? He says, oh, now I'm going to do all the things that everybody expects me to do, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, and things like that. But I want to see your building first. There's nothing else like it, Norm. Uh, it's just uh, unbelievable.